Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Have you ever heard about man in the middle attack or MITM attack? Well, today is your lucky day. We are going to learn about man in the middle attack. So, without any further ado, let's begin. Now, before I start the video, if you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Also, as like and share this video, comment down below and support me to grow this channel. That's the way you say that I want more content and that will really inspire me to bring more content. Alright? So, in a simple word, if an attacker successfully exploits your network or gains access to your network, he or she can become man in the middle. The man in the middle attacks allows the attacker to place themselves between two targets pretending to be each other in order to intercept the communication between them. For example, Bob here wants to talk to Jacob and Eve comes between them and tells Bob that she's Jacob and tells Jacob that she's Bob. Now, both Bob and Jacob are exchanging information without knowing that Eve is actually eavesdropping and hijacking their conversation. Exactly like this. Attacker comes between two devices within a same network who are communicating with each other and pretends to be one of them to, to other device like in this example. These two devices are in a same network and they have certain IP assigned to them. Now attackers come between comes between and intercepts their conversation. Now, there are various types of man in the middle attack such as ARP spoofing or poisoning and MDNS or DNS spoofing. And in order to execute these attack techniques, uh, like uh, there are techniques like uh, packet injections, uh, sniffing, session hijacking, and SSL stripping are used. Okay. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you the ARP spoofing using a tool which comes pre-installed in Kali Linux and that is EtherCap or EtherCap I don't know now if you don't know what ARP I'm gonna tell you in short it stands for address resolution protocol which is a protocol which defines physical address MAC address I mean of a device from the IP address or the logical address on a local network there will be another whole video for ARP, but now let's get into ARP spoofing. But disclaimer, this video is only for informational and educational purpose. I'm demonstrating you this on my virtual lab where I have complete control. This channel does not support any illegal cybercrime activity. Now here I have started my Kali machine and in the other machine I have Windows 10 running. Okay, so now in your Kali machine what you have to do, the first thing you have to do you can open EtherCap application, the tool I mean from here and search for the EtherCap. And click on this and you will require password so enter your password now here uh, it says uh, sniffing at startup so it's by default on leave it like that leave it like that and primary interface is ETS 0 which is Ethernet 0 and uh, if you are using a wireless uh, adapter then you can select uh, your wireless interface but I'm in my case I'm gonna use the ETS 0 and I'm gonna click on this accept 
now now it it has uh, started sniffing but before that we need to find our device so remember uh, this is a virtual network so my windows 10 machine and kali machine are in same uh, virtual network and uh, remember uh, windows 10 is the target and the kali machine uh, is the attacker okay so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna scan for the target from here click on this target and oops i'm gonna back host sorry and scan for hosts now let it scan now it has added four host list so i'm gonna hear targets and i'm sorry host and host list now as you can see there are four devices are running in this uh, particular network so my windows 10 is let's see uh, here the ip address of uh, this uh, windows 10 let me check uh, it's a little bit slower but don't mind that okay so i'm gonna type ip config and press enter yeah it's taking time now it's 10.10.0.2.4 so this is the uh, ipv4 address right so i'm gonna close this that means we have acquired the target in our kali machine using EtherCap. as you can see this is our target where is it this one so i'm gonna right click on this and i'm gonna uh, say add to target one so this is the device i want to uh, sniff okay now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start my wire shark before i start the man in the middle attack on from this machine and uh, i'm gonna open here and as if you guys know what is wireshark you can please google okay you can google this i'm gonna start wireshark and before i start sniffing through wireshark i'm gonna do some changes in the configuration of kali machine and to do that you can follow me okay let me let, let it open first now uh it's in ets0 same like this um and i'm gonna click on start capturing packets but before that we have to do some configuration so open your terminal and uh, let's type cat proc slash uh, c slash net slash ipv4 slash ip underscore forward and press enter oops i think i have done some mistake let me check again cat p p r o c slash sys slash net slash ip b4 slash ip underscore forward now as you can see the value of this uh, particular uh, configuration is set uh, to zero now we have to set this to one to work with the wire circ. so uh, let me do that and uh, to do that i'm gonna uh, use um, the root account so i'm gonna type sudo dash i and press enter and i'm gonna type the password and i'm gonna say uh echo one and i'm gonna press the right button to complete this so this is the command you have to type and i'm gonna press enter now it's done exit again you can check i'm gonna press right button right arrow button press enter now it has been set to one now we are good to go now i'm gonna exit the terminal and i'm going to start 
capturing the packets now it has started capturing our packets so what I'm gonna do also here in the iter cap click on this MITM menu and click on ARP poisoning and click on OK now it has started sniffing the device as you can see now in Windows machine you go here okay now so someone in the so you don't know okay you don't know that a hacker or the attacker is in the in your network and you are doing some something in your uh, device just like a regular person okay so it's a little bit slower so don't mind that okay okay now I'm gonna go to website suppose any website now you're doing okay so maybe it was it is a vulnerable website so I'm gonna go to vulnweb.com and press enter and wait for some time so if you don't know what this site is this is actually a vulnerable website to practice uh you know web pen testing and other sort of stuff so now it has opened now i'm gonna do i'm just like uh, pretending like a regular person i'm gonna go this side Now you don't know what's happening in the background right so you you do whatever you you are doing okay now uh, let it load let it come first so you went to sign up or login.php since this is a vulnerable website uh, now uh, try now suppose now you have uh, entered your credentials to log into the site suppose like uh, admin and admin one two three or something like that now I'm gonna log in maybe it won't log in or it will maybe uh, we didn't know that but this is not our focus here our focus is uh, by the way <laughs> it has said yeah use the uh, username password test and password is test also yeah that's uh, really cool now now this is not our focus now what's happening in our Kali machine okay as you can see here down here it has captured our username and password from this particular site so ARP poisoning allows the attacker to sniff the whatever packets going on in, in a certain target and capture the sensitive information like this this is so bad and so terrible right so next time when you connect to a free network please do consider something like this okay next time when you are in a public Wi-Fi like uh, you know in the in the airport or the restaurant or the cafe or the in the park uh, please do not connect on that in any you know uh, in any manner let's try to protect yourself from this kind of attack so you have to understand this okay now this is how ARP spoofing works uh, there are a lot of other uh, techniques as well but this is a simple one for the beginners who don't know what's air what is ARP poisoning and how does uh, that work so this is the one okay now the question remains that how can you prevent yourself being attacked using ARP spoofing now uh, the first method you can always check uh, your network uh, using ARP table which you can do simply by putting ARP a command in your uh, command prompt if you are using Windows computer or in a Linux also I think so but you can try search on that and uh, but that will you know uh, require a lot of time and every time you have to check every time you have to refresh yeah that will take a lot of time so the second and very effective method is using ARP software which will alert you as soon as there is some changes in IP and Mac it detects IP and Mac of gateway an IP can have only one unique Mac when you run the software. 
you will see an alert by the ARP software. Okay, so you can do that. And by the way, if you don't want to, you know, uh, if you don't want to share your uh, sensitive information, like in this video, like username and username and password, then please don't join uh, public Wi-Fi, which is you know free uh, in the library or the restaurant or the airport or anywhere in the world. Whereas, uh, you know, there might be a chance that uh, may, uh, an attacker might be waiting for you. So, you always consider that also. Now, if you like this video, click on the thumbs up and share this video and comment down below if you have anything to ask me. Okay? See you guys on next time.